So Nina Jankowitz is a name that we're going to have to become familiar with if we're not already. Uh, she's going to be our new leader, our new unelected disinformation czar. She's going to be running the Department of Homeland Security's disinformation board, um, the government disinformation board. And uh, the Mayorkas, DHS Secretary Mayorkas, was asked about her and what this board is going to do by uh, Dana Bash, I think, on CNN this past weekend. Take a listen to how he described what the board is going to do. You tell me if you feel reassured what the board is going to do. Sound like nine. But it's still not clear to me how this governance board will act. What, what will it do? So what it does is it works to ensure that the way in which we address threats, the connectivity between threats and acts of violence are addressed without infringing on free speech, protecting civil rights and civil liberties, the right of privacy. And the board, the, this working group, internal working group, will draw from best practices and communicate those best practices to the operators because the board does not have operational well, authority. I think Kamala Harris wrote that. <laughs> that is exactly my reaction to it. That is the most Kamala answer of all. Oh, it's best practices. What do you mean you don't know what best practices are? Best practices. Best practices. They're going to work collaboratively. <laughs> I think I think uh, Brett Baer also asked Mayorkas this question and, and because he was really honing in with a conservative audience about uh, well, this is just uh, foreign threats, right? What we're really yeah. monitoring here is Russia. China and Russia and you know all that. And so Brett was basically like, okay, so uh, Steele dossier is that misinformation? And he's like, mm. uh, I'm not qualified to talk about that. <laughs> right, look over there. He he dodged too when Dana asked him, "Would you be comfortable with a uh, Trump administration doing this?" He was like, "Something shiny over there." And there's a shiny. Yeah. And it was Brian Stelter's head. Um, so he was asked about Nina Jankowitz, who we do need to be concerned of about because she seems like a lunatic. Um, she's he, he was he, she was she was asking him whether she's qualified and whether she's partisan and so on. And he defended her. So let's just listen to that first. A soundbite ten. Republicans are criticizing your decision, the administration's decision to choose Nina Jankowitz to lead this disinformation board. They say she is not somebody who is neutral. Your response? Eminently qualified, a renowned expert in the field of disinformation. Absolutely so. Really? Because she's the one who dismissed the Hunter Biden laptop as just a Trump campaign drop. Yeah, like, I mean, I think she's an expert in disinformation as someone who's experienced. Yeah, right. The the disseminator. That, that, was, that was the experience that Mayorkas was talking about. It was like, no, 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 you don't understand. She's a purveyor of misinformation. Yeah, she's very good at disinformation. Like a Hillary Clinton type. I don't know if you saw the video of this lady. Oh, yeah. But like the video. That we have it. Her, yes. Oh, okay. If you Wait, I'll it, play I'd... it, and then I'll give okay. you the, the floor, Josh. Stand by. Here she is. We showed you the one where she was singing the weird song about disinformation. I don't know. And, but here's a second. She loves to sing. She's like a theater major, which is reason enough for concern. Here we go. <laughs> Went looking for some prefects in the bathroom one day. But instead I found Harry, and so I said, hey. I helped him solve the mystery Harry of the end. And I'd like to solve the mystery between. Tomorrow in the lake So that our honeymoon Or we can train we know that ghosts have working That old me But what's better than that We don't get STD What the hell's going uh, on? She's yeah. a giant nerd <laughs> And, I mean, how disturbing and is it? fantasizing you're, about, like, underage hug. kids. <laughs> right. Potter's eight years old or something. <laughs> what the yes. hell was that that we just yes. watched? Oh. I, I, I don't know. I mean, look. We need lives of TikTok. <laughs> like, this is why they need to this be is here. Why, right, to hold true. the powerful to account. This is unreal. The Lips first would time understand I saw the right video, caption. The first time I saw a video over, and you'll appreciate this uh, as a mom, Megan, but... It, it, she reminded me of, you know, those those kids like Saturday morning uh, shows that are are not cartoons. Yeah. Where they have this yeah. like super overly enthusiastic. Because right. uh, they're trying to yes. keep attention. Adult. that's yeah. Trying yes. to like pretend like they're a child. And like you can't figure out whether it's a children's <laughs> show or you're having a fever dream. 
right? <laughs> like that's 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 basically what I thought of the first time right. I saw this lady. It's like the Wiggles, you know, the <laughs> Wiggles. <laughs> She's like a character from the Wiggles. And that this is my, I feel like this woman just wants to be a star. Does everyone it, it, like who works at the White House, who like Jen Saki, she wants her own TV show, of course. This woman, she wants to be a star. Uh, she just found some weird back way to develop some alleged expertise in an area no one cares about. And she, you know, the blind squirrel found the nut because it just happens to be the favorite thing in the Democratic Party right now. And now she's going to be a czar <laughs> what? Which, which which actually should be ter- we're laughing about this but it should be terrifying if you really think about it you know somebody who's like this who craves attention this much and is this much of much of a nerd who thinks they know what misinformation and disinformation and information is is like that's somebody who's could be a tyrant right like yeah. you look at what anthony fauci did with COVID over the last yep. two years mm, and, and I, I i'm very concerned that she will be the fauci of information mm. on the internet and she's going to go before congress and, and people are going to discuss you know what is allowed to be said and what's not allowed to be said oh, Elizabeth, i don't i don't keep... i don't trust that individual at all to me neither with, let alone defining the when, when when america says like we should be you know we should feel calm and good that this person is going to set best practices for what's considered acceptable to say I mean, that's stunning that he would think that's a good idea. This person clearly, you know, should not be trusted with anything, let alone, you know, the American people's First Amendment. Let me have a totally uh, counterintuitive take on this for a second, Megan. Yeah, Uh, yeah, yeah. I actually, if if Republicans get the House and Senate back, I want that. I don't want this woman to go anywhere. I I want (laughs) I want her to be exactly where she is, because can you imagine the entertainment value of this woman sitting in a panel in front of like Ted Cruz and Tom Cotton and the rest of them just giving her. I mean, it would be. The most pay-per-view hearing in history. <laughs> it would be fantastic. I want to. I want to sit with her and just say, "Okay, I'll get. I'll give you a couple." Okay, um, one hundred thousand kids are in the hospital or ICU or on ventilators because of COVID right now. Sonia Sotomayor, disinformation or true? You tell me. <laughs> That's it. Perfect. Right? Like right we could go down the list. It could be really fun because I guarantee you this woman has no clue uh, what's real and what's not when it comes to the most dicey debates because she only listens to her one side and they didn't report that Sotomayor was wrong in the places that she listens to. Cryptocurrency may represent the future of money. It's one of the most exciting investment opportunities to come around for some time. But what about taxes? Well, with an Alto Crypto IRA, you can trade crypto like Bitcoin and avoid or defer the taxes. Alto's Crypto IRA is the easy way to get crypto into an IRA. You can trade all you want without the tax headache. Create an account in just a few minutes. No setup charges, no account fees. Secure trading 24-7 through Alto's integration with Coinbase. Ready to take your investments to the next level? Diversify like the pros and trade without tax headaches. Open an Alto Crypto IRA with as little as $10. Just go to altoira.com slash Megan. That's A-L-T-O-I-R-A dot com slash M-E-G-Y-N. Start investing in cryptocurrency today. Not going to get a better offer than this one. Go to altoira.com slash Megan. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.